Yay, we're back at the base. Uh, when I left, we were quite a ways away, but I remember the last time we came back, it sent us right back to the base. So, that was my shortcut. All right. Glad to see you made it back, Madiri. Why, of course I did. With the assistance you provided, my arrival was all but a matter of time. With that said, I do appreciate the settlement. Finding all of you safe and unharmed is a, a welcome relief. Well, almost all of us. Some of the crew are still missing. No matter. With you and me on the case, then their return is all but inevitable. Just allow me some time to set up, and I will see how best I can assist you in this endeavor. Great. I will check back with you later, then. Perfect timing. I was just about finishing a new construction machine. Wow, you're sure in a good mood. But of course, with Madiri back safe and sound, I reckon it's all but time we expand our living quarters. Don't get me wrong, the kitchen we built is great and all, but it's no place to sleep. So I figured I would design a place where me and Bahan can put our feet up. I'm sure Bahan will be overjoyed to hear that. Oh, and are they that sick of sleeping in their hearth ship already? Anyways, just let me know when you are ready to get to it. Uh, what do you want to build? Mm. Oh, up here, I bet. That big old wide space we saw. What is this foam, by the way? We're not going to be able to sleep in here at all, are we? <laughs> all right. Oh, Ooh, fancy. Why is there a scrap metal in the house? Uh, we're complete. It turned out great, too. I knew it would. I didn't doubt you for a second. Ooh, this is going to be good. I can hardly wait to see Bahan's reaction once they see it. No kidding. You look like you're about to faint from excitement. Well, nothing fills me more with joy than seeing people enjoy my work after all. Just you wait in time, you will have a proper home for everyone else and our crew as well. I don't doubt that one bit. Let me know how Bahan likes their new arrangement. As for me, me and Kiki, I think we should go check back on Madiri and see if they've settled in yet. Roger that. Good luck. We have to talk about that primitive tool you were using. Hi, Madeira. You mean the Exo Multi? Old name for something with such a limited use. I, of course, can develop upgrades and make it actually process multiple materials. I wouldn't have thought you'd be interested in manual labor. Me? Goodness no, you'll be handling all of that drudgery. I will upload an ups upgrade somatic in the workbench, but you'll be up to you to craft it. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Madiri. This is going to be very useful. Why must you reduce everything to utility and discovery and advancement? Or discovery and advancement, not enough. Anyways, it should be available for you at the workbench. I also added some other schematics for items of the decorative variety. Not a necessity, but if you find yourself with an abundance of materials, then I could think of worse ways of allocating such resources. Now, with the important stuff out of the way, the Elder also wanted me to relay a message to you. Apparently, we have received the coordinates for two additional survey probes. They should be available for you at the computer in the ship. Never a dull moment here. Thanks. Uh, never a dull moment here, that's for sure. Thanks. I will get right on it after I take a look at those schematics.
Upgrade complete. Yeah, it's done. Well, Madiri's schematics are incredibly easy to follow. Upgrade complete. If I understand this correctly, then this should let us deal with those large masses of fused glass we've come across. I guess we will find out. Let's go fetch those probe coordinates and then head on out. A disco ball, a spacious bathtub, a playhouse, and a sun chair. Interesting. It's up this way. Oh, there's a buddy back there. Or is that us? That might have been us. Am I being blind? I thought for sure there'd be something up here to build, but no. Maybe this is where we're going to put another house. I imagine. By the way, if I sound really tired, I am really tired, but I could not get my brain to shut off to go to sleep, so we, we came here to play this instead. Yes.
I think we need more plants that can do hard. <laughs> ah, spotted pearl. I see it. It's a long way down. Better be careful.
Below that creature is huge. Myth. The sick beast blocks the area. Scan it and see if you can find a way to cure them, and they might move out of the way. Another one in the bag. We bring. Oh no, I didn't mean it liter literally. Figure of speech. Affirmative. Phrase memorized. Pollutants can interfere with nearby ascended pillars. Removing them can cause the power to restore. Maybe we don't have the info to handle that beastie yet?
be able to do the one up there yet. Okay, I gotta stop hitting that button, please. Okay, nothing I can do over there. I think I'm done here for now. Uh, and I think I have to completely backtrack go the other direction maybe I don't feel like there's a way to get anywhere
Oh, it looks like someone's hiding in it. I think we should probably get up there, huh? There's our probe. All right, we'll get that in a second. Go help our friend first. I feel like that's more important. Ah, where'd they go? Calculating typical Altarian running speed. Calculation complete. Conclusion, target close. So what are you saying is, so what you're saying is, if it was one of the crewmates, then they must still be close by. Strange, I wonder why they decided to leave their pond all of a sudden. Rex, friend seeker. So they ran that way. Let's go, Kiki.
eats nearby plants. Why? Why would you do that? Well... Eek, please don't eat me. I'm small and stringy, and I probably taste bad. Chorin, is that you? Don't worry, it's just me and Kiki. We saw your pod from a nearby cliff, but we made our way down to it. Uh, we saw your pod from a nearby cliff, but when we made our way down to it, you were gone. That was you two? Thank the plentiful. I thought you were a hungry creature on this planet coming to devour me. No. Kiki, protect. Thank you. I feel safer already. By the way, Chorin, what is this place? I have no idea, but the design of it reminded me of our own architecture. I thought it might be something Riza had built. Once I got closer, though, it was clear that this was way too old to be built by one of us. Really? Hmm. Now that you mention it, they do feel sort of familiar. We've actually seen one or two of these in the other places on this planet as well. Really? My mind would like nothing else but head inside and look around, but... But... But I'm scared! Scared, but I thought you were an explorer. I am, but I'm also an academic explorer. I document and chart things, but I don't spend a lot of time in the field, and it's dark in there. Don't beat yourself up, Chorin. I understand. You're all right out here by yourself for a bit. Then we can go inside and take a look around. I, I think so. Just hurry back, please. Don't worry. You'll be fine. We've explored quite a bit of this place already, and I barely encountered anything dangerous. Wait. Barely? <laughs> yeah, I noticed this phrasing too. <laughs> yeah, let's go in. Whoa, what's this? Is it okay to snoop around? No. Danger detected. Yes, but someone lived here. Uh, well, not anymore, I suppose. I wonder what happened. Touch stuff. Touch all the stuff. It's really dark. Really nothing to see. Yeah, nothing to see. Will you go out again? Will you go out? Let me know if you see anything cool. Oh. Well, apparently we're not done in there. Personal log 6013, we gotta get out of here quick. This volcano is ready to... Personal log 6013, we gotta get out of here quick. This volcano is about to erupt any day. Not sure if Mardep had a hand in this. I feel they want to use the volcano stones for another stupid statue of themselves. I'm very tempted to leave them here while the rest of us yeet off this planet. But with what ship? We only have the one from Distant Bloom. I guess we could reuse it, but where's the fun in using old things? Is this written in Altarian? Or did it somehow translate it for us? Looking at it, this technology seems really advanced, so maybe? I wonder how long it's been sitting here, though. Iki connects. Analyze and print data. Oh, are you sure? Be careful. I don't want you to catch something. 
Beep, beep, boop. Beep, beep. Are you okay, bud? Printer noises. <laughs> Data. 164,250 cycles old. No wonder we had no idea this planet was inhabited. Whoever was here built this way after we launched the expedition. Hmm, let's look around some more. Maybe the lights in this terminal weren't the only things that turned on. Well, that looks interesting. Broken, but interesting. Let's bring it along and show it to Choran, along with the data log you printed out. A broken telescope. Sorry, it was quite dark in there, so it took some time to investigate. We found this artifact. Look. What? How? This looks modern. Actually, no, it looks futuristic. It looks just broken to me. It's not in very good shape, but look at the craftsmanship. It indicates an advanced civilization. Uh, yes, there was a fancy computer in there. Here, we saved some copies of the logs. Brilliant, thank you. You can hold on to the artifact for now. I'll study these first, but... They're in Altairn. Yes, I was surprised too. I don't know if they got auto-translated or something, but from what I gather, the people who made this came on a ship. So they were space travelers like this. You know, that explains why it looks like they just vanished. They probably took their things and left the planet. Sounds like it. The logs mentioned some expedition. Distant Bloom, they called it. No, that can't be. We were sent here to establish a base, right? So our ship was just the first. When we left, Exoco were working on another one. A huge ship, big enough to carry everyone on Ultra 2 to their new home. Last I heard, they were planning to name that mission Distant Bloom. Are you sure? But that's impossible. They can't be gone. The Elder has been in contact with Ultra 2, right? I really think we should gather everyone and speak to Elder Umeral. Uh, is there a base far from here? Not really. Past the cliff we came from, and you're almost halfway there. Alright, good. Eh? I think I can make that out on my own. Are you sure? We could go back together. I'm sure. I think, yeah. Yeah, I've done harder stuff in the past. I'll see you back at the base. <laughs> Artifact? Oh, right. Torn forgot to take the thing we found with them. What even is it anyways? On closer inspection, it kind of looks like a telescope? Repair. You think we can fix it? Actually, that might not be a bad idea. A functioning telescope would probably be a great tool for Chorin's explorations. Let's give it a try at the workbench the next time we're back at the base. The broken items can be restored at the workbench and surely make great gifts for the crew. I've been dealing with a, a hair tickling the side of my face for some time, and I finally got it. <laughs> you ever had that where it's just one little thing annoying you? I got it. It's gone. This was a town. That's the playground right there. And slightly sad, right? Alright, I can't go that way.
There we go. This one wasn't too bad to find. Lucky! It's bound to happen once in a while, right? You're back. What we have to discuss is rather important, so I went ahead and gathered everyone I could find. What's all this commotion? I need my rest. I'm very curious myself. We barely even got to celebrate Torn finding their way here before being told to gather up. Sorry about that. As Torn mentioned, this can't really wait. Elder, all those times you said Ultra 2 was waiting to hear from us, did you actually hear back from them? What? Uh, what a silly question. Well, we're waiting. The communication channels are unstable at such a great distance. I am sure Ultra 2 has received our messages. So you have confirmation, right? I, I, I said the channels were unstable. I cannot believe it. You have not actually spoken to them, have you? I'm sorry, Madiri. I think the reason why they don't reply is because they've already left. In fact, I believe they were here before us. I knew it! The ruins, the style, the technology. They all look so familiar. And you said nothing? I talk about my scientific discoveries all the time, but none of you listen. Enough, enough. The reason I did not tell you. How could I tell you? We know nothing of our home. We are alone. Not lonely, half crew, half Kiki. So we know they've been here, but where are they now? I still need to figure that out. Ugh, I need some air. Alright, everybody, we'll go get... We'll all get some pretty... We all got some pretty unsettling news. Let's take a break, eat something, and come back wiser. I can't believe this. What a mess. Cut 
Oh, hi there. Hi, Chorin. I just wanted to check in on you. Have you settled down all right here in the base? I think so. Although it feels like everyone is still a bit on edge from the recent news. I kind of figured. It's a lot to take in. About that. How are you holding up? It must have come as a shock to you as well, even if we did have our suspicions. I think I'm all right, actually. Elder Yumuro should have told us about the lack of responses from Ultra 2, but I kind of understand why they didn't. Yeah, it doesn't affect what we have to do at this very moment, which is establish a new home here. On that note, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't mind helping me out. Riza told me that they were ready to set up a proper place for me and Madiri to sleep, and they told me that you already had experience with this sort of thing. Say no more. I'll have it done before you know it. Hey, Riza, I heard from Torin that you have a new project in the works and I wanted to help out. Yeah, I just finished the design and preparations for a place that Madiri and Torin can put their feet up. Figured they could use something to take their mind off of the whole, you know, situation. That's great. After the hike Torin had to take to get here and Madiri constantly working, it'll probably be a welcome surprise. Well, it's loaded and ready. Just let me know when you want to take, off, take it off my hands. Oh, and when you're done, could you tell Madiri? They've been working on something non-stop since the group meeting, and I bet they could really use some rest. All right, we'll do. Oh, Riza outdid themselves again. I wouldn't mind a place like this myself. Tent uncomfortable? Not really. I'm actually starting to get used to the outdoor living. But a place like this would be cool too. Anyways, Rita, Re anyways, Riza wanted us to tell Majiri once it was done. Let's go. Oh, it is really nice. Came printed with books and everything. Jeez. Hey, Madiri, am I interrupting you in the middle of your work? Huh, what? Oh, wow, you were really zoned out there. Are you alright? Oh, yes, of course, I, I think. Apologies, dear friend, my mind has been racing unabated as of late, pondering all the possible scenarios that could have unfolded when taking into account the recent discoveries. I simply had to point my thoughts elsewhere, and so I got to work on another upgrade for your Exo Multi. That's great, but please don't work yourself into exhaustion. You look like you haven't rested in days. That might not be much of an exaggeration as you think. Madiri! Ah! Me and Riza just finished settling... Me and Riza just finished setting up a proper place for you and Shorin to live. Get yourself over there and get some rest right now. All right, all right, I swear. I will head there right away. But do look over the schematics I made at the workbench and get the multi... Exo multi tended to. Noted. Now march. Did he just, um, salute me? Power up complete. Yep, this thing is starting to become quite versatile. Now there should be even more places that we can clean up and revitalize. Uh, excited, are we? That makes the two of us. Let's head back out there and see what we can do. We did promise Tantor that we would do what we can after all.
Fischblatt. Oh, I can't get over there. Oh, this is the old object we found in the ruins. Yeah, it seems to be a telescope. You forgot to take it with you, so I kept it and tried to fix it. I figured with this you could explore without even leaving the base. I love it.
back up this way. I see a whole thing right there to do. Can I climb up? Can't climb up that way. Game. It looks like I can go this way.
It looks so pretty. Happy plan. Here. Way.
What is that? Why does it look so glitchy? Uh, it's radioactive. It needs to be nu neutralized. Oh. Uh, dear diary, I really want a cool statue. I keep asking people for one and they look at me with concern. I know what I'm about. I want the coolest statue there ever was with like 12 capes to change with the seasons. It's gonna be glorious. Uh, a broken terrarium. Nocturnal cr uh, creatures malformed by pollution. A healthy environment can cure them, but be quick as they consume healthy plants. done here. We gotta go to another location.
things. circle around. I feel like that's a, like a log that I should be able to crawl on, but apparently not. I can do about that over there. Or I can go this way. No. Soft locked out of some places until we uh, unlock the crystal.
Seed planter energy surge detected. Could it be that the Ascended wants to meet us again? Maybe that's their way of calling us. Only one way to find out. Let's head to the Oasis and talk to them. Well, that's something that we can't quite look at, huh? Camera angle won't let us go there, but that's a big wire. Alright, that was us. Wait, was that the only way to... Wait. Yeah, I think that was us. So sure.
wrong location. Wrong way. So pretty. We see you used well. Try green one next. They open more. Yes, I've been traveling around and cleaning up. I'll try the green ones for sure. But I actually came here to ask something else. Were there other altars be uh, here before us? You do not know? Well, we just found out. Uh, what happened while they were here? Came not long ago. Or maybe long for your time. Your people... You live short and forget fast. First, they had what you have, but they were many. They had more and more. All died again. I'm sorry this happened. It's what we used to do on Ultra 2. I guess they were just used to doing it and didn't want or need to change. Inside Oasis, we are good. Outside, lives, dies, lives again. I don't think it's that simple. This world, it died because of what the other altars did. But it can also die if you do nothing. You should show... You show you can heal, that is true. We did not try. Outside can be happy also, less boring. Then we'll heal more and make it nice for everyone. If so, new pillar awaits. We prepare. Oh, now these are floating as well. I wonder how they work. Maybe Madiri would know. Either way, I guess the similar looking ones out in the world are working now as well. More flying. I think I remember seeing one of these in the forest where we found Madiri. We could go and take a look. Probe hunting? Hey, yeah, maybe the Elder has managed to track down more of them. We should stop by their first ship and take a look before we leave. I really should stop playing and go record something else, but I'm actually having a lot of fun. Then uh, it is just chill enough for my very tired brain to be happy with it. <laughs>
that's bad. Here. The world not load. I don't think the world loaded. Alright, well I guess that's probably my sign to stop, huh? Alright, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for keeping me company.